Maxine Haberl is in the market for a new car. She's ready to replace her 1997 Ford Taurus, but she's not replacing it with an electric. She's looking at a good old-fashioned gas-powered vehicle. I live in an apartment building, and there's nowhere to plug in an electric car. <laughs> I did think about it, though, but yeah, it just doesn't work for me. Electric cars can be a hard sell. On average, they cost 25% more than a gas-powered vehicle and can be tough to conveniently recharge. Sales were chugging along with the help of a rebate program previously offered by the B.C. government, but that expired last year, and since then, dealerships haven't moved many. I have heard from uh, some of our members that uh, you know they've had customers come in uh, having a look at some of these uh, potentially qualifying vehicles and have said, gee, you know, I'm going to wait and see when, when the incentive, if it's only going to be a few weeks, I'm, I'm going to hang on. And the government heard the call. On Monday, the B.C. government will make an announcement that will reintroduce its successful clean energy vehicle incentive program. It's a $10.5 million program. It'll provide some meaningful incentives for people to go and buy uh, electric cars. And with the Scrapper program together, it's going to, I think, really encourage people to consider an electric car. Details of how much consumers will save haven't been released, but in the previous program, electric car buyers could save up to $5,000. And combine that with the new BC Scrap It program, which gives you three grand towards the purchase of an electric car, and the savings are huge, especially if it means getting heavy polluters off our roadways. The core objective of the program was to make an air quality difference and reduce carbon emissions. And we've done a lot of studies about old cars, and these, some of these old cars are 60 to 500 times more polluting than a newer one. And now that air care has been scrapped, these types of incentives add up. Okay. For Maxine, saving up to $8,000 is significant. And electric, like, your fuel savings would be so incredible, so that would be awesome. Um, so it'd definitely be harder to turn down an electric car. Jennifer Palma, Global News.